Here's the trademark of the lion. We are going to look at the Wizard of Oz. Now let's look at the wizard. The wizard is a um, witch, and that is wizardry, um, words, um, witchcraft. Oz is talking about ounces, like ounces of gold. So think about that while we're looking at this movie. Okay, let's look at this. For nearly 40 years, this story has given faithful, faith, faithful service to the young at heart, to indoctrinus, and time has been powerless. There's no power to get rid of this kind of subliminal messaging. Who put its kindly philosophy, doctrine, out of fashion? In other words, you cannot get this kind of doctrine out of fashion. To those of you who have been faithful to it in return, so you're faithful to keep on coming back and getting in doctrine more, and to the young at heart. Now, the young is where you have to look at, because this is made for the young people, to indoctor them on what they want, as you will soon find out. All right, the Bering Land is the empty womb, the one that cannot have any children. So here we have the Bering Land. You've seen it when she was walking down the road and how bare it was. And here it is again. The womb is empty. Okay, here <clears throat> they're talking about the brains. <clears throat> the Illuminati does not want you to have brains. And every time you watch <clears throat> a movie or anything, it replaces some kind of important information that you have learned about God. So therefore, they are working on your brain. On this part, I want you to notice that she falls in to the pigsty. And when she comes out, she's not dirty or she doesn't have any mud on her or anything. <clears throat> you see how she's still clean? And if you wanted to be real about it, she would have been dirty. Notice the statue that he makes. It's saying <clears throat> that we are all can be statues. I want you to notice how Annie Ann is telling her, Dorothy, that's what children heard as they were growing up, which that was totally wrong. This is where Dorothy is getting to, into the song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And I want you to think about the rainbow. <clears throat> it is to a better place, a pot of gold. The um, gay agenda is using the rainbow for them. And... What are you, are you going to be able to get anything? It's a little lucky charm, which is a demon. A, uh, you have it on St. Patty's Day. So this is one of the gods they are throwing out there for you to look at. I wish I could put the song on for you, but I cannot put the song on because it may be a, <clears throat> a some kind of infringement on the, uh, on the song itself. Okay, here we have, during her singing, the way the sky looks. Think of the lighting one.
coming down. And I think you would know who I'm talking about on this part here. Who is the alighting one? And right here she's talking about flying. Right after that scene, she talks about flying. Here we see the first witch. And of course, if you continue on, you'll hear Aunt Anne talk about how she owns half the county. If she owns half the county, why is she riding a bicycle? It, she should have a car or something like that. So, think of it this way. She has the barren land behind her. And she is one of the witches, of course you know. So, why is she... What does she represent? She represents the land without the enlightened one right now at this point. All right, here she is trying to get Toto. Now, if memory serves me right, you have to go and prove the dog bit you. You have to go to trial. They have to put the dog into a cage for 10 days to make sure it don't have rabies and all that good stuff. So here's another one that we have, we could put question into. Now this is where Aunt Am said that we can't go against the law. I have to say that the old wicked witch right here is the one that's taking control and telling Aunt Am, the Christian, what to do. And if the Christian stands up and lets this happen, then we know the outcome of it. So we should stand up for our right, and she should have stood up and said, no, you're not taking the, the dog. You have to go through proper procedures to do this. Unfortunately, they let her have it. Dogs are special. It is God written backwards. So let's look at Toto here, escaping out of the basket. People think that they can put God in a basket or in a box and him stay there and they worship the way they want to. But this, he is not going to stay. God will get out of your basket, your box, whatever you put him in. Notice the bridge. It is a pyramid. And what do we know about the pyramid? I hope you know. And also, notice right here, that we, it looks like a horse's bridle, right here. And that's what it looks like right there. So, there's just something else to think about. Why is it there? Let's look at this one. Professor Marvel. So, is, are we supposed to marvel at what this guy's doing? <clears throat> Marvel is an ah word. Marvel at that, what he does. So here we have more uh, witchcraft. And of course you know what he does and all. But this is like rubbing it in your face. So think about that one. And we have the crown heads of Europe. Think about it this way, the European Empire, the way that they run things back then, do we have it today? I think so. Can you see the past, present, and the future in his crystal ball? So he sees everything with that crystal ball. And I want you to look at the turban that he has on. This is his third eye, and you can't pass that one up. And here we have over here, you see that, the star, it is upside down. Okay, I don't know if this film, where you, what you're looking at, sees it pretty good, because I know you're going to go and watch it to see if you can see anything. 
But right back here is a flower hanging on the wall. And if I'm not mistaken, it's called the lotus flower. It's like sun worship. And right here behind him, see if you can see my pen right over here. So sitting right back here behind him, you will see an owl. And if I can get a good picture of it, I will show you it too. I hope you can see it in this one. But right here we have a twister coming up. And if you think about it, well, it's called the perfect storm. We have to have chaos before we bring in the new world order. Can you see it better behind this one right here? The perfect storm. Now here we see that Dorothy is just about home. And they're out there doing the horses and stuff, letting them go. Now, they should have been able to see her, and she should have been able to see them. And here we have the gate. You have to go through the gate to get to be illuminated. And so Dorothy is going into the house, and she will be illuminated from inside the house. Okay, she hit by, hit, got hit by the window. So now she has passed out and she's going into her Illuminati state of mind. Her hypnosis, as you would. And this is where the twisted house, which your brain is twisted. Remember, you are the temple of God. And your mind is twisting here. And all. So, do you really want your mind to twist? Okay, here we have the two men in the rowboat. In the Bible, we have fishers of men. These could represent the fishers of men. Before, we had a cow. And, of course, everybody knows what the cow represents. So, we'll just keep on going from here. Alrighty, here we have the bicycle turning into the broomstick, which is turning in, and that woman turning into the witch. <coughs> so here we go with the bike. The bike is, represent the slowness of time to change things into the wickedness of life. If you notice, things happen slow, and then all of a sudden, it's all here. All the Illuminati stuff, it happened slowly.